what is going on everybody it is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is we're going to be getting into reviewing the lost and found Jordan 1 as you guys can see I have a pair right here a size 11 feel free to legit check it as much as you please there is the size tag look at all the details go give it a good LC check online check everywhere your boy is good with the pair right here basically I'm just going to be giving y'all review my thoughts and overall opinion on this one on pretty much the biggest backdoor release of this year by far and that is how it is going to be uh continued to be named by me at least this is definitely the biggest backdoor from this year the fact that i have a pair three weeks before the official release and uh, this is pretty much my only way that i'll probably be able to get a pair it says enough so again if you want more content like this you're interested in backdoors like these other plays raffles we're actually raffling off a pair of these right now shout out anthony again go check out hype labs down below join my cook group right there again we got daily deals those are all under market items i've given to members so if you're interested in getting under market deals making profit from that sneakers tips resale guide uh, resale guides an elite team again very strong team great aco runners our aco hit lots of pairs for people yesterday we hit hundreds of pairs of midnight navies i myself hit about six grade school pairs so again it was a great day and if that's what you're interested in copping more pairs learning the basics hey Check out the group, join on the wait list right there on the website below. But And I also want to give a shout out to Yeet Monitors. These are the guys that we use for Hibbit Monitors in our group. They're great. So if you're interested in also having a Hibbit Monitor, kind of learning the basics of hitting pairs off restocks on Hibbit from the Hibbit app, places like that, then hey, you can join there. It's also in Hype Labs. But shout out Yeet Monitors. Go give them a follow. I'd appreciate that. First things first, when you go look at this, I wanted to show you all the basic details right here. I know my dad will like this, but this is kind of like a newsprint uh, advertising style uh, that you guys can see kind of for the wrapping paper right here. And you can see $29.99. That was the original cost of the 85s, because don't forget, this is based off the 85 Chicago's. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's either the original cost for the 85 Chicago's or for the airship ones, because my dad also told me that his basketball team had an airship ship that looks like this my dad said his exact colors were this for his high school and uh they said that the sneaker looked exactly like this they were like 30 bucks 40 bucks and it looked exactly like this in high schools you used to be able to order actual team colorways for whatever the high school was they could order a colorway like this it could be you know pretty much anything of this sneaker model and they could order their own exclusive colorway to it how cool is that i got too much hair in my head but that that's a pretty cool fact you can't do that nowadays there's a reason for that but overall i thought that idea was cool that teams you know high school teams used to be able to customize pairs to their colors uh you know whatever it was their team colors and then make pairs like that and everybody would rock them on the team that exact same color like on the court i think that's such a cool concept and idea you don't see that a lot now nowadays because firstly it's very expensive and secondly nike doesn't let you do that so again something i thought it was cool just kind of the og newsprint advertising the throwback pricing some details i thought i would mention to you guys and of course here's some other ones you can see they're calling them like anti-gravity things like that again the prices as seen on tv y'all can see all that right there there's mj i believe mj on the box oh shoot it's folding over but yeah there y'all you can see all the basic details i don't want to show y'all too much about the newsprint but i did think that was very cool and i like them kind of uh you know showing that heritage and kind of older uh you know where it all started so another thing aside from this why don't we get into actually showing y'all the jordan one and the colorway forward so y'all can see overall this one hits very very nicely it's going to be very uh very in demand that is zero, there's zero doubt about that people are going to want these very badly a very wearable colorway y'all can see the black and kind of uh, the white laces right there somewhat white yeah I, I would say it's a white laces they're a little bit different again they kind of have more of that uh vintage and older vibe uh it like like they look a little bit worn almost type thing but they're not uh you know worn so so again, y'all can look at the tag as well. You can see even the Nike Air logo looks a little bit different. Just kind of has that older style to it. Y'all can see the back uh, portion here as well. There y'all go. And you can see hopefully uh, with the lighting right there, you can see kind of like the colorway of the tongue is a little bit different. Hopefully y'all can notice right there. Notice that right there. But y'all can see kind of like the white outlining right there. And you can see it's a kind of uh, kind of a little bit tinted if that makes sense. Uh, but overall, interesting concept again. There are the laces here on the inside. Uh, more than y'all can see right there. But overall, is this release going to be hard to get absolutely i feel like market is going to drop though once once the release happens market is definitely going to drop on these because i feel like sneakers is going to have a fair amount of pairs of these i, I feel like we can say that this is release uh, this release is going to have a decent amount of stock, even with it being as big of a backdoor as it is. And y'all can see kind of the cracked uh, upper we got going on uh, right around here by the heel, uh, kind of, you know, right around there. Y'all can see that kind of that cracked uh, and kind of warm look that they're trying to give it, even though it looks very new. And you can see the black, white, and red, how that kind of all mixes together on the sneaker. It gives it this very good uh, OG vibe. And again, this is going to go for some serious spread. Easily 400 plus, in my opinion. I feel like, again, this will probably drop below 500, but 400 plus, absolutely. And, and, and our 
are these a hold for the future? Maybe. Again, ones have kind of been interesting holds. And don't forget, even with it being, you know, as in demand as it is, uh, you know, having half a million pairs, things like that, I, it does affect the hold. It does. Even with it being as demand as it is, uh, in demand as it is, you know, with several million people wanting this pair, them not having enough pairs, this being as big of a backdoor drop as it is, I feel like sneaker stores and also just the general idea of it being hard to secure a pair of these will keep the market above $400. But if these were to drop below 500, I would not be shocked. And again, I'm dropping these in the group on Monday. Somebody's going to get these for under market and make some serious money off them. So that's what I'm always talking about, guys. I always want to give people deals. That's my goal. And that we have a lot of people tell us that we provide the best. And that's always what we try and do in High Fives. Get the best to you guys. If, uh, literally, all you have to do, if you're active on the Discord at least a few times a day, uh, a few times a day, and just, you know, checking our announcements, things like that, and utilizing what we offer, you will make a profit very easily in the group. It is not hard to make profit. You just have to be active, utilize it, and I promise you, it is it is as easy as it gets. We've broken it down so people can make profit very easily. It's not hard to do it. We have several sections that provide that. For example, the daily deals, our backdoors. Um, you know, we we have bulk sellers. Uh, we we have we had we we had a whole loop we posted yesterday for the Midnight Navies that could secure you a pair. We had people cop in five men's pairs, five GS pairs. I looped. I think I, I copped three of sneakers alone in GS, and I have ten accounts. That's a thirty percent hit rate. So. That's all. That's all I'm trying to say. We have we have some advice that can help y'all, and that's what we do. Like Drew, Drew on one account hit men's and grade school. So yeah. But overall, definitely one of the more popular releases from this year, if not the most popular release. We've had so many releases this year, reverse mochas, things like this, that have had you know record amounts of entries, and this is going to be another one of those that I feel like may have the record amount of entries on sneakers. Sneakers is going to break when these drop. There's zero doubt about this. The app will not work. I I will bet on that. The app is not. Anybody in the comment section, we can, we can put up a $20 bet, $50 bet. I will bet money that the sneakers app will not work will not work on drop day. It is it is going to break. It is going to glitch. Checkouts are not going to go through. Something is going to happen with the app uh, on drop day for these. And that's going to, again, keep the price higher because the average person is not going to be getting their hands on these. That's the, that's just a simple point. If Unless you are paying up, you are not getting your hands on these. Retail is going to be nearly impossible to secure, in my opinion, just based off the back door, unless sneaker stock has like 200K. But again, that could even be capped because there's just back doors going throughout Nike now. So who knows? But overall, lost and found ones, don't sleep in them because it's definitely going to be a good pair. You'll make a ton of money off retail as a whole. I mean, again, if you're willing to hold them long-term, like a couple years, yeah, worth it. But that's it. Again, if y'all want more early uh, early review content like this, of course, be feel free to check me out. Subscribe and like down below. And don't forget, we're dropping these in the group, Hype Labs. We've already done a raffle on a pair of these. Somebody's going to walk away with them for $30. So that's pretty crazy with that raffle. We're going to be dropping these for under market so someone will make profit. Again, I have all these under market deals that I got to ship out Monday. So that's something we're doing. I gave like a free hoodie to one of, my, uh, one of our mods. So like, you know, I'm always trying to help out. That's really our key. And if you want to join the wait list again, Go to our website right in the description, pinned comment right there, get on. Again, the waitlist is free to join. It's just if we let you in, you'll be charged. But again, we always have help. We got a full beginner's guide, and that's really what it is. So uh, feel free to check that all out. And let me know what y'all think about this pair. Overrated, underrated? Are you going to be copping? Are you dropping? Let me know. So that's it. Thank y'all for watching. Hopefully, I could educate y'all a bit on these pairs. And don't forget, also, kind of the worn look they gave the sole. Uh, this is the, on both the pairs. Y'all can see this. They gave it kind of that worn look. So, hopefully, y'all can see that. Overall, another great detail on the sneakers. So, shout out Nike. Keep doing your thing. I like these. But the market is crazy. And this is the biggest backdoor of this year. So, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm Tristan. And catch you then. Peace.